So let's talk about eye gouges for a minute. Let's say I'm attacking Jordan, I'm throttling him, and he starts poking my eyes, and I do something very simple. Close my eyes really tight and get my squints on, which is a very common reaction to pressure on the eyes. And he starts pushing on the eyes. Go ahead and push. Gouge out my eye. Yeah, we're, we're going to do whatever we can to protect the eyes. It's a very common reflex. If I bring my fingers close to Jordan's eyes, what does he do? He instinctively closes his eyes. It's, it's a built-in self-defense mechanism. Something comes close to your eyes where you try to make somebody flinch and they, they blink to protect the eyes. It's just normal, right? So if he brings his hands close to my eyes, again, my first reaction is close them and then get that thing away from the eyes. Now this might give you a little bit of space, right? Because maybe he's, he's really tight on you, he's digging this in and you poke the eye, then he brings his hand up here to get that off, which is a more probable reaction. That can give you the space for a more intelligent escape. At the same time, It, it, it can also get a negative reaction. He starts poking me in the eye. I'm like, seriously? Let me poke you in the eye, right? So, yeah, generally speaking, people have this meet force with equal and opposite force type of reaction, right? I punch you, you punch me, I push you, you push me, you poke me in the eye. I'm like, really? I'm going to poke you back in the eye. So, pick your battles carefully. That's all I'm saying.